Hey YouTube, this is Everything you Pan here, and today I'm doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows 95 Final Beta Release in VirtualBox or VMware. Now this is the um, build number 347 in the um, Windows 95 releases, and this was the final beta release before the test releases came out. So, um, pretty straightforward here. Um, there is BIOS state required for this, so you will need to install MS-DOS first before um, doing this. So that will be linked in the description. But before you install MS-DOS, um, you'll need to do a certain thing when you're creating a virtual machine. So when you do that, type in like Windows 95 be final beta release and it'll select Windows 95 as the version automatically. Hit next, leave the RAM at 64 megabytes and create the virtual hard drive. Then what you need to do is go to settings, system, acceleration, and uncheck enable VTX. That needs to be done. Then you can install MS-DOS. Um, so that's that. And I have a virtual machine running with uh, MS-DOS and I'm going to show you um, this is where you need to put in the uh, BIOS date or the date that will make it work for Windows um, the beta release so you need to go in here and hit enter and then change the date Change it to March 8th to 1995. So that'd be 3-18-15. There you go. So make this system time 000. And then what we'll do is go ahead and hit enter. Oops, enter. Then the time and settings are correct, and then continue with the installation. So I'll be right back with you guys after that's finished. Alright, so after you have installed MS-DOS and the CD driver, you want to go ahead and insert the ISO of the final beta release, which is technically called Windows Chicago. Still, it's called Windows 95, but the pre like the beta was partially called Chicago. Then what you need to do is hit D colon or whatever this drive number says full screen so you can see this in the bottom right the password and then hit dir oops and then you should see this windows 95 folder go ahead and type in cd win 95 hit enter and hit dir make sure that a ton of files pop up then just type in setup, hit enter, and then hit enter to do the routine check, and we're into the Windows 95 setup, and then hit continue, hit yes here, and then it will load, right here just hit continue, continue, and continue once more, and now you'll get into the setup wizard. My apologies if the uh, microphone sounds like, I mean, I am a little close to it, but it's really late at night. Um, so just hit next and hit next again. It's going to check hard drive and then go ahead and do the typical or whatever you want. And then type in a name. And hit next. And check both of these boxes. Hit next. It's going to analyze your computer. And it'll go through this little progress bar, which can take a little bit of time. So I'll be right back. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and hit next to install the most common components. Oops, there we go. And then hit no, I do not want to start up disk hit next and then hit next to start uh, copying the files and installing it onto your computer 
and that shouldn't take too long. My apologies, my headset was about to shut off, and you'll hear something. Okay, there we go. All right, now the setup is finished, and it's going to restart your computer so it wouldn't take the ISO now out now. Oops. And then hit finish, and then hit OK. It's going to say starting Windows 95. Say getting ready to run Windows 95 for the first time. And then if this comes up, just make sure you um, disable the uh, VTX and the AMDB like I did show you before. And then we'll restart the machine. EPAN making errors at its finest. Make sure to disable VTX the beginning of the installation otherwise you'll run into that error or you'll and then it'll say that the uh, thing is expired and I'll show you a little later how to uh, get it so that it doesn't do that so now it's going to set up plug and play devices here when this box comes up just hit um, just hit OK then hit close then here just hit OK and then it'll say this a lot of times just hit cancel then and now I'll do some control panel start menu programs windows help time zone and printer setup choose your time zone hit ok and then on this hit cancel and then hit ok to reboot Say Windows 95 final beta release load up right there. And if this comes up, just hold like the spacebar or something down, and it'll bypass all those. And sometimes I really apologize if I'm quiet right now. Um, sometimes if you do get stuck at this screen. You can reboot, but it looks like it'll work this time. And then when this comes up, just hit OK, and you should be able to hear the ta-da log on screen. Or screen. I think. Should be in the background here sometime. There it is. That's the shutdown sound as well. And once it loads up the desktop, there you go. There you go, guys. That's how to install Windows 95 Final Beta Release or build 347 in VirtualBox or VMware. There you see. It says 386 to enhance mode Windows version 4.0. It's kind of weird how they do that. Just go to my computer and hit properties, and there it is, Windows 95 version 347. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, like the video if you enjoyed. I'll go ahead and share it as well. Comment your ideas down below, and don't forget to subscribe. Um, links are in the description and all that stuff. Um, so, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.